Inbound at half court. Does so to Bills in the backcourt. And we are underway in the second half. Bills with the dribble through the center circle. Between the circles now. Deals to Garber on the left point. Garber working the dribble to Whiteman on the right point now. Ball over his head. Whiteman looking. Finds David Tech. Tech with the left-hand dribble. Goes around one man. Finds Shogger on the baseline. Lob back outside to Whiteman. Now near side to Peck. Peck going to launch a three from the right wing. And he got it. David Peck starts the second half like the Bishop started the first with a long-range jump shot. They didn't respect his shot. They gave him plenty of room, and he canned it. Bishop's up by four. Lobbed into Cyber. Poked away from behind by Whiteman. Whiteman with the steal. Leading the Bishop's charge down floor. Whiteman through the center circle into the lane. Kick back outside to Peck. Wide open. Garber on the left wing, but defense flashed out. And now Bill finds Shocker in the left post. Shot swatted down on the floor by Cyber. Boy, BJ, I feel bad for him that time because Cyber made him look silly. <laughs> I imagine his courage for going up, taking it to him, and trying to get the foul. I think it's a good move in his part. But boy, oh boy, Cyber swatted that ball out of bounds. Garber to inbound now. Into Shocker again, working hard on Cyber. He blocked it again. Ball loose on the floor, won by Peck, out to Whiteman. Whiteman between the circle. Bishops can't do anything inside like that. One on one with Cyber. He's going to beat him every time. He's just too tall. He'll take it out of him. He may get a foul once in a while. Back with the basketball between the circles. Lobs in the left corner to Garber. Garber with the right-hand dribble. Bounce pass into the lane to Peck. He deals to Shocker. Baseline jump shot. Rolls over the rim and off. Rebound fought for one by Peck. He goes up on Cyber. Rolls off the rim. No. Rebound Cyber. And he outlets to Ferraro. Ferraro with the dribble down floor. Deals down the right sideline to Rolson. He finds Enright. Right in the bucket again. Whiteman picks his pocket. Whiteman back the other way. Whiteman with the dribble to the right point. Whiteman finds Peck at the top of the key. Boy, Doug Whiteman with such quick hands. Two steals here in the second half already. He started the game with the hitting the threes. Now his defense is uh, picking up, and that's what the Bishops need. Bills with the basketball, spins into the lane, goes up around, Cyber and up and in, and a foul! Joe Bills is the answer. Look a little bit like the Michael Jordan showing the right hand, shoot with the left, and he drew the foul. He most certainly did. He took that post move up with the right hand, switched to his left, and just flipped it right around Cyber. And then drew the foul. I'd like yep. to see that down two more times to get him out of the game. Cyber now has three fouls. And Bills is at the free throw line to make it a three-point play. Bishop lead it by six again and make it seven at 44-37. 6-14 to play third quarter. With the basketball, Watterson. And with it, Ferraro through the center circle. Deals it on the near sideline to Flaherty. Back up top of Ferraro. Back on the right point. Now Rolson launches and cans a three-point jump shot. Aaron Rolson hits the Eagles' first three of the night. And that closes the score to 44 to 40. That was only their third attempt in the entire evening. Back the other way, the Bishop. 540 to play here in the third quarter. Whiteman between the circles. Deals right point. Shogger now right wing. Peck and it's launch another three. David Peck connects. He's got the hot hand here in the second half, launching a pair of threes, and it's now 47-40, and we have a whistle, and timeout, Watterson. Timeout, Eagles will take it to, you're listening to Bishop's Basketball on Z102. Picture this. You have to run to the store. You hope no one will see you, right? You're having a bad hair day. Instead of going to the store, why not turn your wheels and head to Calico Court Hair Design and get a new do? The hair designers at Calico Court work wonders, and they can help you achieve the look you want so that you can have a great hair day every day. Calico Court Hair Design, with seven stylists to serve you. 55 Whites Road, just off Route 40 west of Zanesville. Okay, now you can go to the store. Thanks to Calico Court Hair Design. At the Rogie Gymnasium, 5.35 to play third quarter. Bishops up 47-40 over Watterson. A 22nd timeout leads the Eagles with three. Bishops have all five remaining. Out of the timeout, Eagles with the basketball. Flaherty dribbling at the right point. Deals to Ferraro and back to Flaherty on the right side. Trying to feed Enright in the post. And now Seibert's got it right in the lane. This time his fade away is an air ball. Back down floor of the Bishop. Bills running the point to the top of the key. Stopping, popping. No dropping. He hit it off back iron. Rebound Ferraro. Now Watterson trying to run. They've got a three on three. Deal with the Flaherty on the right side. Dribbles into the lane. He tried to feed the post. Stolen away by Schager. 
Threw it right to him. Back down floor of the Bishops. Doug Whiteman wide open in the corner. Buried it. And he's going to do that every time you leave him open like that. 19 points for Whiteman. The Bishops have three triples here in the half, and they've extended the lead back to 10. Here's Rolston launching a three on the other end. No good. Rebound. Joe Bills in the lane. Bills on the run. Down floor with the left hand. Long pass to Whiteman. Right side launches another triple. Got it! Doug Whiteman got another three ball. And it's 53-40 time out. Eagle. Unbelievable. Just what you want to have. With that first five minutes, you come out and get four straight three-pointers off in the right-hand corner. And the Bishops' lead is 13. It's their largest of the night. Take time. Uh, you're listening to Bishop's Basketball on Z102. Why buy a leftover 98 vehicle when you can buy a brand new 1999 from your hometown dealer, Dutro Ford? Dutro has not one, not two, but three brand new 1999 vehicles priced at just $99.99. Your choice. Get a new 99 Ford Ranger, a new 99 Ford Escort four-door, or a new 99 Ford Escort ZX2 Sport Coupe. Any of the three, your choice, $99.99. So why buy a leftover 98 when Dutro sells 99s for less? In 99, it's your hometown dealer, Dutro Ford Lincoln Mercury Nissan, South 5th and Canal Streets in Zanesville. Almost everyone in this gymnasium has a Rosecrans Bishop three-point club shirt, t-shirt on, and you see why. Those who don't have an opportunity to pick up another one tonight. We've <laughs> hit nine three balls. This place is rocking. The Bishop by 13. It's their largest lead of the night at 4.32 to play here in the third quarter. Rosecrans has come out firing out of the locker room. They've outscored them by the count of 15 to 3. With the basketball, Rolson on the right point for Watterson. Finds Ferraro up top, now Swartz on the left wing. Beating Enright on the baseline. Enright, tightly guarded, takes the jump shot anyway and hit it. Mike Enright stops the Bishop's run. It's now 53-42. Back the other way, Bills for Rosecrans. Bills with the left hand dribble, dribbling out near the center circle. Rosecrans is going to kill some clock. We're at four minutes to play in the third quarter. They're still in that gimmick defense. Bishop is trying to force them to come out straight man-to-man. And Bill still dribbling in the center circle. Deals to Whiteman, and uh, they come out to put the five-second count on, but that's about all they're doing. Everybody else still standing around in the zone. And now Peck with the left-hand dribble penetrates into the lane. Deals Garber. Now Chogger kick out back to Whiteman. They'll kill more clock. Down to 3.38 to play in the third quarter. Bishop lead it by 11. Peck with the ball in the right point. Ball hold, held over his head. Now he goes to the left-hand dribble into the lane against N right. Kick out left side. Shogger lob back out on the near half-court line to Whiteman. One of the advantages Bishops have is their big man can handle the ball, and they're forcing their big man to come out on him. And now Peck throws it. Wild Shogger collects it back to Whiteman. Still more clock. They've held it for about a minute now. At 3.10 to play third quarter. Whiteman high out on the left against Jack Swartz. Whiteman with the right hand dribble between the circles. Deals Garber. And now Watterson has come out to play some defense against the ball handlers, but that's all they're doing right now. Ferraro tight against Bills near the center circle. Bills goes past him to the lane. Scoop to the hoop. Left hand left is short. Rebound won by Bills. And he dribbles it back in the left side to hold it some more. Peck with the scoop to the hoop of the right hand, and now Cyber takes it away. That was an air ball. A wild shot. Now the deeper 40. Cyber got a hand on it. It wasn't an air ball. Okay. And here's Swartz launching a three. No good. Rebound in right in the lane. Feels it back out to Rolson. A whistle and a foul. I think we're going to have something go against Rosecrans. And let's see what we have. Let's look on uh, Doug Whiteman. It'll be his second. Only the team second in the half. 29 to play. Third quarter. Bishop 53. Watterson 42. Rolson going to inbound to the right of the basket. And he's looking. Lobs in near half court to Swartz. A hand dribble between the circles against Whiteman. Deals to Rolson high out on the right. He dribbles back between the circles. And Rosecrans. On the line hand to hand defense. Whiteman with the steal. Whiteman going all the way. Coast to coast. Right hand layup. Good. Doug Whiteman has 24 points. The Bishops came out of their zone into a man to man and he cut off the passing lane. Now they're back in the zone. And it's Going to be Swartz launching a jump shot just inside the perimeter. No good. Rebound comes down to Garber. Under two minutes to play third quarter. Bishops have a 13-point lead. Bills with the basketball. Deals the pack in the right corner. Back to Bills. Open for three. Good! Joe Bills has 16. Rosecrans by 16. It's their largest lead of the night. Flaherty lobs in right. 
left baseline. Jump shot, good. Enright has 10, but the Bishops lead by 14. Bill slicing into the lane, leaves one up with the left hand short, but he was fouled, and he'll go to the line for two. I think he's calling it on the floor. Foul was on Jim Flaherty, his first, and I do believe you are correct. Foul on the floor, the second again. The Eagles. The Bishop just beat him playing up the floor. Joe Bill took him one on three, and it's good thing they fouled him because he was already in. Garber get inbound, right of the bucket, bounces into the right corner to Bills. Bills outlets to Peck, wide open on the point for three. Rolls over the rim, but Shocker with the rebound, goes up hard, draws the foul. <laughs> B.J. Shocker. And it's going against uh, Mr. Flaherty again. That'll be his set. That was all 54, guys. <laughs> and it's going to be... The second foul of Mr. Flaherty. 118 to play third quarter. 58-44, Rosecrans. Shocker at the line. With the first free throw, it's good. Watterson hasn't figured out how to play the Bishops this defense, or this quarter. They've tried three different defenses, and so far, Bishops have found the wide open man each time. Second shot for B.J. Around the rim and off. Rebound comes down to Enright. And back down floor come the Eagles, now trailing by 15 points. With the basketball, it is Schwartz on the right side. Deals up top to Ferraro. Whiteman tried to steal. Didn't get the ball, and that time he got Ferraro. So the foul will be on Whiteman. It'll be his third. Just a little anxious. I think with 109 to go, now you just play solid defense, keep the ball on the outside, make them beat you with a jump shot, which they haven't been doing this quarter. Inbounds comes into Ferraro. Back to Schwartz down the right sideline. Lob into the low right post. And right, he's double teamed. Kicks it back to Seibert. He drives down the lane. Puts it up with the right hand. No good, but he was fouled. Seibert had 16 points in the first half. He had 12 in the second quarter. Has no points here in the third. That's only his second touch of the ball this quarter. The first wow. one he shot an air ball. This time they had it down low and triple teamed the man who got the ball up high enough and Cyber just took the ball hard to the basket. I think all he wanted was the foul. So how about the adjustments that they made? What was it that they made defensively? Can you pinpoint it? Bishops are doubling down low and denying the ball, trying to keep the ball in the hands of a weaker ball handler and forcing turnovers. That has been the success of the Bishops here in the second half. Cyber missed the first free throw. He sights the second and shoots. An air ball! He missed everything! And now the Rosecrans faithful are going to let him hear it for that. I think the uh, work that the David Peck and B.J. Schauger did on him in the first half of muscling him, and certainly they're not uh, easing up on the physicalness this half, is starting to, have to tell a toll because he's thin and maybe a little bit weak right now. Rosecrans with the basketball. Bill's in the center circle. Under a minute to play, third quarter. Bishop by 15. Garber with the basketball high on the left. Hands it to, no, he keeps it. Tight defense, and now Bills loses the handle, and in the backcourt, we'll have the backcourt violation. Garber just picked up his dribble a little bit too soon, and when uh, Whiteman came through, he kind of got stuck, and uh, probably just uh, could have held it a little bit longer. 38 seconds to play third quarter. Bishop 515, Ferraro for Watterson between the circles. Deals it right side, Flaherty ball over his head, black to Ferraro. Ferraro left hand dribbled into the free throw circle, jump shot, high archer, no good. Rebound comes down to Whiteman. Good defense by Bill that time. He forced Ferraro to change his shot. Even patted him on the head after the shot. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a whistle, and what do we have? A timeout, 20-second timeout for Todd Rock. That's the first timeout taken by Rosecrans tonight, setting up a play here at the end of the third quarter. I think it's a good timeout. Bishop could use a little bit of a break, and certainly when you have a chance to... Uh, play for the last uh, 20 seconds here. You want to make sure you get a good shot. Don't let them have any chance. And a chance to get maybe some starters. Some of the guys who've gone almost all the way tonight out of the game for 19 seconds for like a minute break here, plus another minute break for the third quarter break, and really it turns into maybe a two-minute timeout. Right. They're bringing in uh, Michael Sullins, who's an excellent shooter. He's only a freshman, but he's scored uh, in double figures in almost all the JV games. Just put one more shooter out there that's a big man or somebody's going to have to guard. All right. Out of the timeout with 19 seconds to play in the quarter. Bills will inbound at half court. He looking, does so in the backcourt to Whiteman. Down to 17 seconds. Whiteman going to walk the dribble into the front court down to 13 seconds. Whiteman still in the center circle. Between the circles now, it's nine seconds. 
Whiteman on the right point in seven seconds. Whiteman to the top of the key with four seconds. Whiteman goes right of the lane and has it knocked away. Rolson's got it at half court. He's off the backboard. And we've come to the end of three quarters of play in this CCL championship game with your score. Rosecrans, 59. And Watterson, 44. You're listening to Bishop's Basketball on Z102. People all over the country are talking about... Try it again. I think it's really good. If you're going to buy one soda, buy Pepsi One. New Pepsi One. All the taste, one calorie. Only one has it all. Back at Rogie Gymnasium, the Bishops are eight minutes away from their fourth straight Central Catholic League title. They lead the Eagles by 15 points. Watterson has the basketball. And Flaherty launches a long three-point jump shot. It's no good. Rebound down to Bill. He waits for everyone to clear and now walks the dribble into the front court. Dribbling between the circles. Right of the lane. Deals right side. Shogger. Shogger on the baseline. Seibert trying to draw him out. He wouldn't come out. Back to Peck. Peck on the sideline with the dribble. Deals to the baseline, or rather to the elbow to Shogger. Shocker with it needs help, deals it to Bills, and we have a whistle, and they'll catch Ferraro trying to reach in on the seal. I think if they leave BJ open long enough and too often, he's going to make them pay. He's going to can a jump shot here. Foul on Ferraro is his third. We're down to seven minutes and 30 seconds remaining before the Bishops can clinch another CCL championship. Bills will inbound in front of the Bishop's bench to Peck. Give and go. Back to Bills. Goes up strong. Had his shot blocked by Seibert. And now on the way back down floor, we have a foul on B.J. Shocker. I think it's a frustration foul on Joe Bills coming back into play. Was it on Bills? It was on Bills. Right. Bills with his second foul. And that is the team fourth. 7.25 to go. Bishop lead it by 15. They led it by 12 in the first half. Watterson came back, took the lead just before halftime. The Rosecrans has extended their lead out of the locker room. Here's Flaherty, another left wing three. Off front iron, rebound, run down by Whiteman. Whiteman leading a breakdown floor, pulls up, waits for his buddies, and they'll kill some clock. With the basketball for the Bishops, it's Garber on the right wing. Dribbles and now has it taken away by Flaherty. Flaherty has a one-on-none back the other way, goes up, puts the layup up and in. Flaherty has 10 points. It's a 13-point lead. Under seven minutes to play in the game. Lob down floor to Whiteman. Whiteman breaks pressure. Jump shot from the left elbow. Good. Doug Whiteman with 26 points in this basketball game. It's 61-46 road tramp. He had the big man coming out at him. He still shot it over top of him. Seibert with that patented fadeaway. Takes the jump shot. No good. But we have a whistle. And uh, we'll have, what, a foul against road tramp. P.J. Shocker just put a hand up, and the referee said they caught him a little bit on the arm. So that one is on Shocker. It's his second, and Seibert at the line. Seibert had 16 first-half points, none here in the second half. His last foul shot was about two feet short. This one is nothing but net. Nobody's serious foul trouble for the Bishops. Uh, Whiteman has three, three for Garber, two each for Bill, Shocker, and Peck. Three fouls apiece for Ferraro and Seibert on the other end. Seibert jump shot, or rather free throw, around the rim and off. Rebound being fought for in the lane. The ball loose on the floor, collected by Bills. Bills leading a charge down floor. Bills left of the lane, bounces across the lane to Garber. And we have a whistle and a call Garber for a travel. Big man came out on him. Arab had him one to look for a shot and just got his feet too fast for the ball. 6.29 to play in the game. 61-47 in favor of the Bishops. After the game, if the Bishops win, extensive post-game coverage here on Z102. Ferraro at the top of the key, a whistle away from the ball, and we're going to have a call go against the Bishops. B.J. Shogger again. It'll be his third foul, sixth on the team, and from here on out, Watterson going to shoot. Siebert's on the bench right now. He's probably taking his final break of the evening. All right, Rolson will inbound right to the bucket on the baseline. He's looking, lobs into the corner to Flaherty. That's not Flaherty, that is Ustowich. Matt Ustowich into the game. Rolson going to take it three from the top of the key. Hits nothing but glass. And the rebound out of bounds off of David Peck as he couldn't control it under the board. That ball came off the rim so hard it was on David's chest, and he did the best he could trying to save it and throw it back in. 
6.16 to go in the game. And Rolson inbounds again to Ferraro on the right side. Ferraro left-hand dribble between the circles. Ferraro with a bounce pass down the sideline to Flaherty. Flaherty dribbles back outside. Deals to Ferraro up top. Ferraro with the left-hand dribble to the point. Deals into the corner to Rolson. Cross-court pass to Enright. Enright jump shot from just right of the lane is good. It rolled around the rim and in. Enright has 12. The lead is down to 12. Bills back the other way. Pops the shot in and out. But he was fouled, and he'll go to the line. Well, that hit rim about three or four times, rolled around, and somehow found a way to come out. So Joe Bills will be at the free throw line, shooting a pair. He has 17 points tonight. And the whistle and the foul this time will go against Aaron Rolson. It's his third. Our good friend Michael Goldfarb shooting video highlights of this game will have post-game reaction as well on the WHIZ TV reports tonight at 11 in addition to highlights of the other postseason action going on throughout the area tonight. Bills at the line connect. Zanesville was a winner over New Philadelphia, 43-30. to In Division I sectional play at Steubenville, New Lexington defeated Vincent Warren, 68-51. to In Division II sectional play at Chillicothe. And Sheridan is playing tonight against Circleville. We'll have all the scores and highlights tonight on the news at 11. Referee just came over to correct the foul situation. They put it up on 20. Now it's in. It's on number 30. So the foul will be on Enright instead of Rolson. Rolson still has two, and Enright now has three. Clock is at 5.53 to play in the game, and the Bishops have the lead. It's 62 to 49. Seibert comes back into the game for Yuskowitz, and you can expect Seibert in there throughout the rest of the ball game. Well, now they're saying they have to wait to come in. I'm not, I don't think there's... Uh, Everybody knows what's going on. Now they're saying he did make the first one, yeah. so now he can come in in the second. But what surprised me, their coach was talking to the referee about the foul, and number 30, Enright, is probably the player you wouldn't want to have that foul on. And now Todd Rock is out uh, to confer with the officials about what exactly is going on. And uh, now they're going to talk to Vince Lombardo, and now Seibert has to come back out of the game. He's he not being allowed to check in. I'm as confused as the coaches and the referees seem to be here. Well, now they're calling. Your no. guess is as good as mine, friend. This may be a blessing in disguise for the Bishops because they've played with basically the same five all throughout I the agree. game. Now they're walking around, just staying loose, trying to get the crowd into it, and so uh, the rest is helping the Bishops there. 5.53 remaining. It is 62 to 49 Bishops. They led as many as 12 in the first half at 20 to 8. Watterson came back, took the lead at 37-36. Rosecrans led it by a point at half and then outscored Watterson 21 to 7 in the third quarter to amass a 15-point lead. It stands now at 13. They will not let Seibert into the game. Yuskowicz has to stay in. Now the scorekeepers from Watterson need to talk to the uh, talk to the referee. So I'm not real sure. And now, now they're letting Seibert in. Do that up anymore? Go figure. Bills at the free throw line for the second of two free throws. It's up. And it's in. Bishops lead it now by 14, 63 to 49. Here comes Watterson down floor. Ferraro into the front court. Dribbles between the circles, deals near side. Flaherty back to Ferraro between the circles. And now to Rolson. Back up top to Ferraro. Ferraro going to take a jump shot from the right point. No good. Rebound comes down to Schager. Schager bounces to Whiteman. The Bishops will kill clock. Todd Rock tells his team to spread the floor. 5.45 and counting. Whiteman on the center circle with the left-hand dribble. Deals on the left point now to Shogger. Back to Whiteman. Whiteman dribbling with Rolson out on him loosely, defensively. And now Bills with the basketball between the circles. Bills working the dribble into the lane. Kick out far side, Whiteman. Whiteman almost had his pocket pick. Maintains possession. Down to 5-10 to play in the game. Rosecrans looking for an unprecedented fourth straight Central Catholic League title. They're five minutes away. Bounce pass left of the lane. Shocker goes up strong to the hole. Draws a foul. Matt Seibert wants the travel call. He's not going to get it. And let's see who the whistle is on. It will go on Mr. Enright, and that will be four on Enright if the whole uh, catastrophe that we had a moment ago was worked out correctly. What the Bishops have done this quarter on defense is force Waterson to try to shoot three-pointers. 
They've shot six shots, two inside. They've made the four outside. They've missed. Yeah, Watterson's not a good three-point shooting team. And if they have to use the triple to try to get back in it, as they do now, that is most certainly not work to their advantage. Bishops are packing it inside, preventing any kind of inside play, just daring them to shoot outside. Shocker hit the first free throw, now the second. Up and in. B.J. Shocker has a strong eight points. All but two of them at the line tonight. Under five minutes to go, Bishop back up by 16, matching their largest lead of the night. Enright with the ball on the left baseline. Jump shot from 10, no good. Rebound rolls off the rim to Bills. Down the floor to Whiteman, and Whiteman going to walk the dribble across the timeline again. Down to 440 to play in the game. Whiteman with the basketball out high on the left. Deals cross court to Bills. Law back to Whiteman, high out on the left, near half court. The double team comes. Whiteman feeds Bills, and now down the right sideline to Peck. Holding the ball in no particular hurry. The Bills and back to Peck. They play a game of keep away. Bills finding Whiteman high on the left. Now zipping a pass to Garber. Now Bills leaves it for Peck, open for three. No, it's around the rim and off. Rebound won by Watterson. Back comes Swartz down floor. Swartz with the dribble, bounce pass right of the lane. to Flaherty, jump shot, no good. And we'll have a whistle and a foul, and they'll catch David Peck on a block. He thought he had a charge. It was one of those plays that will forever be the toughest call for the referee to make. And therefore, Flaherty will be at the stripe shooting a pair. Flaherty has 10 points tonight. Four minutes and five seconds, all that stands between Rosecrans and a CCL title. Bishop still want to play with the proper amount of aggression. Not too soft, but uh, still, they can take their time, handle the ball, and expect to shoot foul shots here. Shot for Flaherty is around the rim and off. It's a 16-point lead for the Bishop, 65-49. Flaherty at the line, a 6'3 senior, sighting and shooting. He gets that one. Flaherty has 11. Inbounds to Whiteman. Full court pressure for the Eagles. Whiteman dribbling against it to the timeline. Double teamed at half court. We have a whistle. We have a foul. And it's going to go on Aaron Rolson as he tried to pick a pocket. Not going to happen. And that is going to be his third foul. And it puts Watterson over the limit. And the Bishops to the line in the one and one. And Whiteman will be there where he is three of four shooting tonight. They tried to trap him, and this white was just too quick, and I think he got fouled three times before they finally called the one. 3.59 to go in the game, and Whiteman at the line connects. Whiteman has 27 points tonight, and the Bishops' lead is again 16 at 66-50. to 50. Second shot for Doug. Around and out, rebound, one by Shogger, now loose on the floor, and it comes out to Garber, and back out to Whiteman, and it is going to be Bishop's basketball, holding and killing more clock. Double team on Whiteman, lob to Peck, now Garber, open under the hoop, Shogger up and in, BJ has 10, Bishop by 18, it's the largest lead of the game. Crowd again on its feet, they sense it now, 3.30 to go. And right, stolen away by Bills. Long dribble down floor, Bills all the way to the cup, now leaves it near corner, Garber. Back up top to Peck, swing it left side, Whiteman, let's kill more clock. Down to 3.15 in the game, timeout, Bishop. Rosecrans takes time, and we'll take it to 3.15 to go in the game, and Rosecrans leading 68 to 50. You're listening to Bishop Basketball on Z102. Before the snow starts flying again, come on down to Newland Motors for some four-wheeling dealing. Dodge trucks set the standard for four-wheel drive pickups, and Newland's selection of four-wheel drive Dakotas and four-wheel drive Ram pickups is better than ever. And America's first name in four-wheel drives is well represented, with plenty of Jeep Wranglers to tackle southeastern Ohio's hills. Hey, don't wait on the Chicken and pork. Campbell's brings it all to your family. And they do it for less. What's more, they do it with a smile. Campbell's Foodland. On the Maysville Pike, South Zanesville. 11. Back at Rogie Gymnasium, 3.15 to go for the Rosecrans Bishops to clinch their fourth straight CCL title. They lead Watterson by 18 points and have the basketball. 
David Peck with it on the left sideline. Cross court pass to an open Bills in the right corner. Left hand dribble into the lane. Feed to Garber. Garber, little jump shot in the lane. No good. Rebound won by Seibert. Loose on the floor. Collected by Ferraro for Watterson. Down floor he comes. Dribbles all the way to the lane. Pass to the wing and out the way by Whiteman and out of bounds. Good play. Watching the passing lane. You're still going to see him pack it inside. Force Watterson to try more threes. Down to 257 to play in the contest. With the ball, Rolson inbounds to Ferraro. Ferraro right hand dribble top of the key pass into the lane. For uh, Flaherty got it, lost it, got it back, then watch with the basketball. That was a bullet pass. It hit him in his chest, and he never really gained ha a handle on it. Tried to take it to the hoop, but lost control. Bishops with the basketball. No one has left the gymnasium tonight. The celebration will be on in two minutes and 45 seconds. Peck beats Whiteman in the backcourt. Double team as it is now desperation time. They count a 10-second call against the Rosecrans Bishops. And it was 10 seconds because it, there was 2.51 on the clock when they inbounded. And it's down I, to 2.40 now. I didn't watch the clock, but it uh, probably was a good call there. I thought they were calling a foul, though. I thought so, too. It was uh, appeared to be a quick 10, and I think that's what uh, they are saying. That's what Todd Rock is saying. There's no way that's 10 seconds, but it most certainly was. <laughs> Most players were play, lining up for foul shots, thinking it was a foul shot, and as it was, it's 10 seconds. It's a good call. Watterson inbounds to Ferraro. Ferraro between the circles with the dribble. Dribbles to the left wing. Down the sideline to Swartz. Swartz dribbles out of the corner back up top to Ferraro, and now Rolson on the right side almost lost the handle, got it back. He's double teamed, deals to Ferraro. High on on the right. Ferraro back to the point, deals in right in the lane. Jump shot from 13, no good. Rebound comes back out to Watterson. Rolson with it. Back up top to Ferraro. Now left wing. Schwartz launches a rainbow three. It's nothing but an air ball. Rebound comes down to Garber. Down to 2.15 to go. Crowd again for Rosecrans on its feet. Whiteman lobs into the front court to Bills. Bills into the lane. Kick out to Peck. Way out on the left. Just playing keep away now. Lob across to the right wing to Bills, bounce pass across the lane, Shogger, kick out Peck, and now Whiteman with it high on the left under two minutes. Lob to Bills, jump shot from the right wing, no good. Rebound comes down to Rolson. Rolson running down floor for the Eagles. Long pass down floor to Cyber goes off the backboard. Swartz had it in the lane, dealt it to Enright, and we have a whistle on the floor. That was the strangest looking pass I've ever seen. Well, they won the lob to Siebert. It was too close to the basket and bounced <laughs> right off the backboard to their player. But then got a foul on David Peck. <laughs> oh, man. David Peck with his fourth personal. We have one minute and 59 seconds to play in the game. After the contest, extensive post-game coverage. We'll hear from Todd Rock, most certainly, and from several of the Bishops players on a fourth straight CCL title. And we'll have highlights and post-game reaction tonight on the news at 11 on WHIZ-TV. And right at the line, connects on the free throw. He now has 13 points, and the lead is 17 for the Bishops. It's 68 to 51. After losing to them three times, this place is ready to explode. Second shot for Enright, good. It is a 16-point edge. Whiteman in the backcourt, dribbles through traffic all the way into the front court to the left point, kicks it back to Peck, lob down into the corner to Shocker, back up top to Peck, and now Bills with it near half court, feeding Whiteman. It is just a game of keep away now, and Whiteman is fouled by Enright, and that is number five. Mike Enright fouls out with 14 points. The scoreboard says five. Now they finally catch it here with the official scores. Enright is a senior, and he has fouled out of his last regular season game. He was the one, probably the Achilles heel, up at Waterston. Again, you expected Siebert to get his points, but Enright had over 20, and he was the one that really picked up the slack in the scoring when they really needed it. Held to 14 points tonight. Ryan Schmelmer comes in to replace him. 123 to play. Doug Whiteman at the line and the one and one for the Bishops. And what a game he's had with 27 points and what a terrific addition he's been for this team all season long. We started at the right to be getting tonight, hitting those two threes just to kind of set the tone. And uh, he makes the first foul shot. And certainly he's kept the pressure on and it's made every team play, every player. You can't just concentrate on Bill. B.J. Shiger going to 
sit down to a standing ovation. His teammates come over and chest bump him. What a fine game he played in the middle tonight against the big seven-footer Shogger with 11 points. Five rebounds, one assist, and one steal. Wow, Good not bad. Game, and he played a little physical. Not too bad. And Whiteman connects on the second free throw. It is Jeff Lazar into the game for the Rosecrans Bishops. The senior going to play in his final home game in the final minute. Watterson back the other way, and it's going to be Ferraro launching a three. No good. Cyber got it right in the bucket. He's triple teamed. Ball poked away by Peck. We have a whistle and a foul. I think they'll catch Peck with number five. And uh, they do. David Peck is fouled out, but David Peck with six points tonight. He had two big triples to start the third quarter. Really got the Bishops into the flow of things offensively, and he will depart to a standing ovation in his final home game. I think as you look up and down the lineup, each player contributed something very positive.